today I'll be doing a rainbow loom video. This will be my first huh? number one video. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. But this video will not be a tutorial, it would be showing you all my rainbow looms, bra bracelets, and charms that I've done in the past. So we're going to start off with my bracelets. I'm going to start off with my dragon scale. So the, this is one of my favorite bracelets. I have two different kinds, number one and number two. So this is my two different kinds. This is a cuff peg, I mean a cuff um, dragon scale, which uses up six pegs, and a small one just uses up four pegs. So, this is my cuff one, and this is what I had for six pegs. Really pretty bracelet. I will be doing a tutorial on this one. As you can see, it says cuff six pegged. So, I use six pegs just to make this. It's really beautiful. So, this is my small dragon scale. Um, it just uses four pegs. At the time, tigers were my favorite animal. Still are, it's just dogs are mine now. So this next um, type of bracelet is called raindrops. I love these bracelets. At the time, they were my complete favorite. And I would always make them. But I'll just tell you right now, I'm just putting it out there, that I had a lot more bracelets. But I've lost them or got the dogs chewed up or just even gave them away so these are all four of my raindrops as you can see for this one it's a blue and purple beautiful one with a black border it only takes one s clip same with this one it's just this green and blue with the border of white one s clip same with this one which is pink and white black border and one s clip same with this one which is my first one exact first one it's blue and blue, light blue and dark blue, with the border of white, with only one S clip. Really beautiful bracelet. Goes good with anything. So this next bracelet is my fishtail. It's really amazing. Like I said before, that my tigers were my most favorite animal. Um, this is black and orange, which also was my two favorite colors. It only takes one S clip, and it's really pretty. I will be doing a tutorial on that one and for the raindrops. This next bracelet is called my Infinity Bracelet. I have three of them. One got ruined and chewed by the dogs, but this is how it looks now. As you can see, ruined it just threw the colors in there. My second bracelet is kind of like that, kind of messed about in the purple. One S clip or C clip, kind of threw colors in there. And another one. That's purple and blue, the black border, with one S or C clip. So this bracelet is called a ladder. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on the infinity bracelet, one that I just had before. But I will be trying to make a tutorial on this. This is my most favorite bracelet it's so beautiful it takes not a lot of bands it takes one s or c clip and it's really pretty i might be doing a tutorial on that so this next bracelet um there's two different types i can do it on well for the rainbow loom the the rainbow loom not the crazy loom or whatever else looms they, they made um this is called the rainbow loom that could be removed the center pegs to make a straight loom. So this represents a straight loom, this represents the other configuration. So this one was made on the straight loom. I was trying to do my own creation of um A3 Singular. I kind of failed because there's cat bands here and yeah, kind of failed. Not really, but here's my S clip. Only takes one and not a lot of bands. But my original one, so this one, the other configuration loom, um, is this one. Um, it was during the winter time. I was so bored, and I was just doing my looms, and I'm like, 
hmm, what am I going to make? Oh, three singular. So I made that, but at that time I was just wishing for summer to come. But right now I'm wishing for winter to come. So now I have this, and it's really pretty. It takes one S or C clip and really easy to make. So I will be doing a tutorial on that. Now it's time for my charms, so let's get started with charms. So, since it's um, charm time, I want to show you guys, well I have to show you guys, but I want to show you guys this failure of a pencil. I sucked at this and I will be doing a tutorial on this. Like it says here, on creation of a pencil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my pencil. Didn't really do it good. No hate, no hate. <laughs> Here are my lollipops. The purple one is my first one. And I like to challenge myself by making the first one all with rules and stuff. But after I do that one, I go right after and I try to make my own. Kind of did this one a little bit different. You can see but this one came out perfect. Are my adorable, adorable, I tell you, water bottles. Um, I kind of failed on the two on left and right side, but in the middle was my first one. And like I said, I like to challenge myself by making um the original one and then one of my own, but kind of didn't come out right because this one's kind of more wider. And it's kind of not rounded at the bottom here. But with this one is. And it's more like skinnier. Same with this one. This one just came out totally like, stupid. Okay. So this is my pop. Um, And just because, I mean, I just forgot to say that I'll do an, that I will do a tutorial on the water bottles and the lollipops. So I will. This is my adorable pop, which is very simple. Um, I'll be making a um, video and a tutorial about that. So these are my, are my adorable cherries. You can make them single or you can stick them together as a pair. There could be 3D cherries, but I just know how to make these. So these cherries are really adorable, and I will be doing a tutorial. So now it's time for my own creation of bracelets. So for this first bracelet, I will not be able to be doing a tutorial for this because for my, um, this I did a very long time ago, and this is my own creation, so I don't even, like, know what to do. This is a kind of a long time ago, kind of reversible, and it looks like this thick, and one has clip, second one is this weird looking thing that I tried doing an X bracelet. This is how I tried it. Um, so I was doing it on this kind of loom and I was going to make an X bracelet, I was gonna call it. So an X bracelet. So here are the pegs. I tried making an X bracelet by like, um, like, this and then like I'll do an X all the way up the whole entire loom even though the loom isn't this big and the rubber bands aren't this big. So I was trying to make an X bracelet but come to find out I only looped the border. So I didn't loop the X's right here. So it came out like this but this is pretty cool and I will be making a tutorial on this. Uh oh, I forgot. I will not be able to do a tutorial on this one because I don't really remember how to do it. I'm so sorry. I'm just tired. So now this next bracelet I really think looks familiar. I don't know. It reminds me of an Indian bracelet because I saw it on YouTube. It was like all brown and like light brown or whatever. One has clip. Don't will not be making a tutorial. And then my last one is this pretty pink and white um bracelet could be reversible with only one s clip i will not be making a tutorial um last
last but not least, if I haven't mentioned this, this bracelet. I kind of think of it as a scale because there's fishtails and it's kind of two fishtails put together, but doubled because you can see there's a crack down going down the middle. And I think it could be reversible because it was kind of going to be like, was kind of be this design inside. Like if you can see that, it was going to be that design. It takes six C clips or S clips. You might as well want to use C clips because it can hold this, but I do not know how to make this, so I will not be making a tutorial. So guys, I'm not done yet. I will be showing you guys everything of my storage and everything like that. So this is my storage. I, you can't really get the whole view, but it's a bead case. It's originally a bead case, but um, I just used it. I'm going to be getting a new case pretty soon. But as you, but as you can see, that I have this. I have my blacks. I have my blues, my tie dye, my white, and that my all my S and C clips, my pinks, yellows, orange and reds, greens, and purples down here. So that's that. And now I, I usually like to keep. All of my extra rubber bands in this. It's a nice case. I have a lot of extra rubber bands. I don't know why I keep them all here. I'm just too lazy to separate them by pink, by pink, or whatever else. And yeah. Who you ask me? This is my loom. The original rainbow loom. Um, thing. As you can see, if I turn it around, my hook that I got with it can. Go under here and stick these holes up because stick these up because if I put it under, as you can see, there's a thing there and there's a hole here, so I can pump it up. So you can easily just snip this back. You can also pop the middle middle one out to make it a straight one. Oops, I just made it like. <laughs> Looks really messed up. So I can make it like this, like a straight one, and not one that looks like this. Thank you guys if you guys watch this video, and please, please, please subscribe, like, and share. That'll do a lot for me, just because this is my first video, and I see a lot of other YouTubers having a lot of um subscribers it would just help me a lot but if you guys do that thank you and god bless you and just i'll be making a lot of tutorials and well this page is all about having fun thank you for watching bye